Hey yo man, welcome back to another Let's Get Personal, the show where I answer questions, sorry, we answer questions and hopefully solve your problems. Guys, if you're unfamiliar with this show, essentially I take, uh, you guys send emails, you know, of, of questions and problems happening in your life that you want answers to through the email down below fear.lgp at hotmail.com or maybe in the comments I'm not picky and you know I pick one or a few and uh, you know this whole I dedicate this whole video to them and I also like to say people watching this video to also leave your advice in the comments below because that way the people that we're trying to help out have more to go on than just my advice and I also want to say that only take my advice with a grain of salt, this is just some advice. I am not literally telling you to go do the things that I say. Just take it into consideration, which is the way you should go about this. And uh, don't do anything stupid. So with that being said, guys, today I figured it'd be best to just do a couple. Because, you know, I feel like I need to add more to these Let's Get Personals. And if you guys think that I should do that as well, do more than one a day, or a day, <laughs> do more than one per video, just let me know. And also, for each, we're, we're, I have three here. So if you want to give advice based on this person's problem, you should, pr I would advise that in the comments, you put like one for the advice, two and three, you know, just that way, you know, these three people were helping know who you're talking to specifically. I also like to say it'd be totally great if you could leave a like and subscribe guys. I'm trying to get back from the rut that my channel has gotten into, uh, this whole YouTube age gate thing. And uh, I need your help. I need you guys. If you're subscribed already, it would be amazing if you could click that bell as well by the subscribe button. And that way you get notifications because YouTube is just super messed up and it's just killing me. <laughs> okay? It's, it's just, it sucks. But with that being said, um, we're going to get right into this now. So guys, the first question says, Hi, I hope you read this. Please keep me anonymous. So I'm in the ninth grade and this girl told me, oh my god, my screen just went blue. Okay, here we go. So I'm in the ninth grade and this girl told me she likes me, but I don't like her. How do I say no in the best way possible? She's my good friend and I don't want to hurt her feelings. Thanks a million. Well, you know, okay, th these situations are usually kind of awkward. Um, and unfortunately, you know, it, it's not going to go, it, it's going to go two ways, but it, it's kind of something that you should probably get out of the way immediately. And that's telling her that you just don't have those feelings for her. So what I would suggest you do is, you know, do it as soon as possible. I mean, I don't like, I mean, um, yeah, if she told you she likes you, I'd suggest just, you know, talk to her and be like, Hey, you know, like I really like you as a friend. Um, and you know, I want us to stay friends, but like, I, I you know, just like you, this is kind of something you've got to say in your own personal, uh, in your own personal way. I'm not going to tell you how to say this to this girl. Uh, but I would, you know, be gentle about it. Let her know that like, you're not like no hard feelings and stuff. You want to be friends and you're, you know, just, just talk to her. This is a really personal response. There's so many ways to go about it. And I mean, you like, what do you do? Right? You know, if somebody likes you, but you don't like them, I mean, it's, but you're also friends. I mean, like you got to do something because if you prolong that, all you're kind of doing is just going to make it even worse for her, especially if she's, you know, getting her hopes up. So I'd say just let her down in the best way possible, but don't drag it out. And you know, ha like give, give yourself some time to think about a good way to talk to her as well. But just be a good friend about it. Be really nice, and uh, so that way you don't hurt her feelings and stuff like that. And if she, you know, really does care about you, she'll understand, and she'll hopefully still be your friend. If she's your friend. Uh, yeah, she's your good friend. So <laughs> if she's your friend, she'll still stay your friend. Moving on to the next question. So this is number two, guys. So it says, hello, I've been just very depressed lately, not medically. Uh, thank you for saying that, by the way. <laughs> A lot has happened. I broke up with my boyfriend. My best friend left me and he won't tell me exactly why. I gave him my trust and all my love and he just left. Also, the guy I started liking is now going out with my friend. I am really trying to stay positive here, but I feel like everyone's leaving me. Thanks, Sam. Well, Sam, I've got some things I want to say. I've also been kind of going through some stuff, some similar stuff, but this isn't about me. It's about you. 
but I'll tell you what I did that I, or something that I've learned from being in your uh, current situation. So I've been pretty alone for a little while now, um, you know, with from breakups to losing best friends in the past. And, you know, especially with breakups, you know, they're the worst. I'm, I'm gonna assume this was your first boyfriend because uh, they hurt, they're painful. And, um, you, you know, you clearly, you know, said that you gave them your trust and all that stuff and all your love. And then also a guy you liked went out with your friends. So the first thing I want to say is, you know, take time to heal. If your boyfriend broke up with you or oh, wait, you broke up with your boyfriend. I don't know what happened, but take time to heal. Uh, breakups are really damaging or can be damaging, but it takes a really, you know, it takes a really tough situation to really change and mold a person for the better so essentially what i'm saying is this this terrible thing that's happened this breakup will like you will get out of it you know it takes a really tough situation to really change you and make you better because these things they really add to you as you grow up and when it comes to friends or your best friend you know what if they left you and they don't know why they were never your friend to begin with they won't tell you why, sorry. They were never your good friend. They were never your best friend. Like, that's not an excuse. You, your best friend wouldn't just get up and leave. Clearly, there was some sort of uh, uh, disassociation there in turn with, with how you perceived them and how they perceived you. So, um, with that, I would just say, just quickly move on from that. Because there are so many good people out there, and you're they're not even worth the time to be thinking about them. Uh, I know it's easier said than done, but just realize there's better people out there. And, you know, you should also just learn to love yourself, you know, and uh, not have to depend on people to... I don't even know why I'm saying this, honestly. You're, I'm sorry. I, 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 I try to get in... I, I get really deep into this conversation because, like, I've I've suffered this really bad. I'm, I'm going to take that back. Obviously, you should love yourself. But um, that's not really the answer you needed. So um, just move on. Make better friends. Find better friends. And uh, and yeah, and you know, distract yourself. Watch Netflix. Play games. That also includes with the whole breakup thing. Give yourself time to heal. And also, for the person that you liked and they started going with your friend, forget about them. Seriously. If you want to, there's only one person you're gonna get with, right, in a relationship. That one person who left for, um, with your friend, forget about them. There's like five, four to five billion people, guys out there. Um, yeah, so just forget about it. Try to stay positive. I don't know how old you are. I would suggest going to the gym, eating healthy and stuff. I'm saying this because it actually does help you feel better. But other than that, um, I'm going to move on to the next question. So hopefully that was some good advice. All right, and the last one. I've had a crush. I've had a crush at this on this girl since I met her and have grown to like her a whole lot when I really got to know her. I had finally had I finally had the balls to ask, but she had said, and there's a period there. I'm assuming she said no. I cried a little bit, but I still feel madly in love with her. I've never felt this strong about a girl in my life and I'm having trouble getting over. What do I what do I get over? her and just move on wait what <laughs> also please keep me anonymous and, uh, you know guys it'd be great if you could look over your emails and for spell checks we have autocorrect for a reason but um just to quickly answer this question uh you know when when you find a girl and or when you, when you're friends with a girl or you meet a girl and you get these really strong feelings uh it's it's like biology kind of makes us as a guy makes guys feel this way it's like a very overwhelming uh quest like a conquest to get with this girl that you really like but you know the sad truth is if she doesn't like you back then you just gotta stop and that's not simple and you know you this is a very this is a mentality thing you've really got to learn that if she's not into you, then she's not worth your, worth your time. You need to move on to someone else because what is the point of liking somebody who doesn't also like you back? It's just, it's, it's redundant. It's pointless. You want to get with somebody who cares and appreciates you just as much as you appreciate them. So in terms of moving on, give yourself time to think, 
get out there with friends, hang out, do things, go to the gym. I know I always say the gym, but seriously guys, the gym is an incredible stress reliever and it really clears your mind. Listen to music, just get out there, enjoy your life, you know, like you're you're probably young, I'm assuming. So, like, there's plenty of time out there. You'll eventually find the right girl. But with that being said, though, guys, that is um, all I wanted to do for today. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this Let's Get Personal and would like me to do three at a time, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And, of course, don't forget to submit your questions down in the comment section as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys, take care and have a great day.